Ohio, konnichiwa, and what's up? If you guys are familiar with my channel, then you know I travel the entire country of Japan with the circus. And if you're new here, well, welcome, howdy. But today, we are gonna go around Tokyo and look for some of the coolest vending machines. Now, I know you've probably seen a million of these vending machine videos, and I've even made a few myself, and I'll link them up here or here. But today, we're gonna go around and see some of the coolest ones because they're constantly adding new and interesting items, and they're updating these things to revolutionize the way that vending machines and things are sold. So, 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 so we're gonna go see some of those cool and exciting machines. Let's go. All right, well, it is bright and early in the morning and we just found our first machine. Not that one. Well, that is a machine, but no, this one right here in front of me, this one is actually the first of its kind anywhere in the entire country of Japan and I believe even in the world. And you're probably thinking, Ryan, that is bananas. <laughs> you're right, it is. <laughs> Check it out. In this machine, it looks like there are two different types of bananas. There's one that's 150 yen, and the other one is 180 yen. And I believe the only difference is probably that the one that's a little more expensive is organic. But since I'm being cheap today, and we've got a lot of things to see, and we've got a few more machines to hit up, I'm gonna try the 150 yen one. Plus, I'm a little hungry. There it is, y'all. All right, I'm gonna open this up and try it real quick. I mean, it's a dull banana, so really can it be that much different than any other banana? We're gonna find out. Looks good, looks fresh. Itadakimasu. It's a banana. Well, I guess it's not that unusual, but the fact that they sell bananas in a vending machine and that this fresh, it's not an airtight sealed package, and there's no brown on the banana. So my thought is that they stock these things probably daily. Well, on to the next one. Let's head over to Haneda Airport because I've heard there's some really interesting and cool stuff and some new machines they have over there. Let's go. All right, guys, you wanted something unique. You wanted something different. Check this out. Now, if you're not familiar with Proactive, they are the number one leading company in acne care. Now. You don't have to take my word for it, it actually just says it right here. Number one in Nikki B care, which Nikki B in Japanese means acne. So here you go. This is where you can get any brushes, lotions, clean, cream, <clears throat> brushes, <laughs> brushes, cleaners, creamers, cleansers, anything you need to make that skin look nice and much better than mine. Why shop online when you can get it right here on your way into Japan or on your way out? That's pretty convenient. All right, guys, it is raining now, and I just left the airport and I. Unfortunately, I didn't buy anything from that machine, although I, I should have, huh? His face is a little ugly. Uh, I actually just got a message from a friend who's in town. He was telling me about this place called Gogo -Go Curry. There he is, Tokyo Drew. The cool thing about this place is not only do they have this really cool curry challenge that Drew is going to do on his channel, but the way you get the food in here is through a vending machine. How cool is that? So I'm going to go in there, have a lunch with him, but I'm going to use the vending machine to get my food. Well, it's that easy. And now it's time for lunch. All right, guys. I just got my meal. Look at this. Good enough. This little, um, little baby I one. The, the camera on the other side. That's the curry challenge. He's gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna eat my lunch. It's vending machine food. Huh? All right, guys. So we just had lunch from technically a vending machine restaurant. We got a new shirt. Now with 13 and a half million people in Tokyo and over five and a half million vending machines, you gotta expect that if there's a banana vending machine, there should be a uh, apple vending machine, right? No. No, that can't be. There's no way. Should we go and check? No. Let's 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 go look for something more practical. I mean, who would have really thought that there'd be a vending machine at the Apple store? It would be pretty cool, but you know what is cool? Look what I just found. 
Oh. Sorry, I almost dropped you. But no, we actually found an Apple vending machine. There's no Apple products, but there's actual food in here. Check it out. Sorry, sorry, look, 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 look. All right, guys, so this is the Apple vending machine. It's obviously, they're not gonna have an iPhone in here or an iPad, but they got some apples and they look pretty good. It says apple sweets, and there are two different kinds. There's one that has a honey flavor, and then the other one is just regular. They're, the regular flavor is 200 yen, and the honey flavor is 240 yen. I got a sweet tooth, so I'm gonna get the honey one. Delicious. I'm gonna tear into that thing. But there's like only three pieces. All right, I got the honey apples. Have my banana for breakfast. A little curry for lunch. Now it's time to have a midday snack. See how these uh, vending machine apples taste. Oh, God, they smell so fresh. Wow. You can't see my head because it's cut off. My bad. Is this better? I'm actually squatting in the middle of a train station, so I, why don't I just adjust the camera? That's a better idea, huh? There we go. Now you can see my pretty face. <laughs> no, but really, these apple Train's passing. One second. Very delicious. These are actually New Zealand apples, it says right here. Yeah, so they don't really have much of a honey flavor. It's delicious, it's cool, it's fresh. The machine says they come out at two degrees, so I would say that, oh. Maybe I should have read all the instructions first. It looks like there's a honey packet on the bottom. <laughs> there we go. Honey packet for the apples. That's why it didn't taste like honey. Let's try that. Oh wait, you guys want to see that slow-mo, sexy slow-mo, right? Let's do that. Let's try it with the honey now. <laughs> yeah. That's more like a honey apple. And there you go. Another interesting vending machine. Alright, so we're going to finish up here and then we're going to head over to Akihabara. You will see that Akihabara is super famous for the otaku culture and for reselling a bunch of digital and electronic stuff. Um, also, a lot of the vending machine videos that you may have seen on YouTube are from that area, including the one I even made. But we're gonna go back over there and we're gonna see what else they might have this time because as you know, this vending machine culture is constantly growing and evolving and there are a few things in those machines that I didn't get last time that I don't wanna get and show you this time. All right, let's go. Forgot the camera. All right guys, we have made it. Here we are, Akihabara Station, the holy grail of otaku and all things you like, gachapon, comics, and electronics. Now over here are some of the coolest vending machines but the other part is there is this treasure box mystery vending machine. You put in a thousand yen and you don't know what you get. You can get earbuds, you can get wallets, you can get backpacks, you might even get a camera, but we're gonna find out. Let's go see it. Here it is. No, 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 here, here, here. This is the machine. Now, this is called King's Treasure Box and the CEO of this one actually designed this from old book machine. He just repurposed them, redesigned them, so he could have a 24-hour gift shop, basically. There are pictures of Bose speakers and Beats headphones and, and all kinds of fun little toys. There's even a JVC camera and a Canon camera and a PlayStation. I'm pretty sure for 10 bucks, I'm not gonna get a PlayStation, but, but we don't know until we find out, right? So I'm gonna put a thousand yen in there and we'll see what happens. Doesn't want me to, doesn't want me to play. <coughs> it's so amazing that in the time that the machine didn't take my money, these three kids have put in like 60 or 70 dollars and look at all these cool things. <laughs> a spinner, a fidget spinner. 
I would hate if I spent 10 bucks for a fidget spinner. Ah, Avengers toys, cool. All right, so the consensus so far seems like nothing too exciting and nothing really to the value of $10. I think there's still hope for me. I'm gonna let them keep going, waste all their lunch money. All right, they're leaving. It's my turn. Seven Eleven, some tickets. I can't read this. Can you read this? Excuse me, can you read this? Oh my god! <laughs> These are baseball tickets. It looks like they're good for like almost any game. Oh, that's awesome! We got baseball tickets! <laughs> that's cool! Alright, let's go see the other mystery vending machines. And, uh, yeah, let's see Here it is. Next. Here it is, guys. The creepy, crazy, well, you know, there's been so many adjectives used about this area, but what it is is just a bunch of random vending machines that have some crazy crap and these mystery boxes. Now, everybody comes here for these mystery boxes. Last time we got them and all the other videos I've seen of people getting them, it's just boxes of crackers and cookies. Now, I like cookies and crackers, but for 490 yen, which is almost four and a half bucks, I don't know that I want to do that. I want the nectar. <laughs> oh, the nectar. Our first prize from the mystery creepy vending machines. Dun, dun, What's, inside? Dun, dun, What's inside? What's inside? What's inside? Is it gonna be some? Ah! Oh, it's nectar. I thought it was gonna be like a box of springs or something. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, they got snails this time. S cargo. That's new. They got some balloons that you can make balloon animals with. I'm sure, my friends at the circus will love that. Oh, they got the muffins again. Chocolate Danish. Uh, chocolate Danish. Ooh. What is this? Marbles. Little toys. Jingle bells. Ginger ale bouncy balls. Cool little toys. This cool little. Uh, what is it called? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's a bit of a squeeze in here. It's like getting on a train at rush hour. I made it! I'm in! It's safe! Everything's broken. And all the gifts are back there, but since this is Japan, nobody steals them. How amazing is that? Let's get a little wobbly here. Alright. Now, on to the main section. More mystery boxes. Mystery boxes everywhere. And they all have a little story on them. Toothpaste! We had toothpaste? Batteries. Oh look, that's my jam. What do we have over here? More mystery boxes. Muffin in a can. Lychee. Curry in a can. You know shishi curry. Oh, that one's a little spicy. All right, guys. Now I like to think of myself as a pretty frugal guy, and I like to save my money. But sometimes when you're in the vending machine corner, you gotta you gotta break your rules. Muffin in a can. Let's do it. Right, it's 990 yen. It's pretty crazy for a can of muffin. This better be good, huh? There he is. Muffin in a can. <laughs> it's upside down, but it's got a little tab. Let's go see what this is like. Muffin in an upside down can. <laughs> Let's check it out. Ooh. Airtight seal. Yeah, it is. It's an upside down muffin in a can. Look at this. Oh, two. Ha <laughs> ha, it's a double pack. Look at that. Combo. Chocolate chip. Let's try this, baby. Mmm, a little hard. 
not as moist as I'd like for a muffin, but it tastes fresh. It's an airtight can, so it's safe and still good. Ten bucks for two muffins, not a great deal, but it's delicious. I am going to get some popcorn for Tycho because we are going to the baseball game and I know she'll love that. Oh, you can hear it popping. Ha <laughs> ha. cool. Oh, it smells delicious too. There it is. It's dropping down. It's ready to serve. All right. Let's try this popcorn. Now it looks pretty dry, but it came with this little thing that looks like butter or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just the lid, but let's try it out. Yeah, really dry. A little bit salty. Tastes fresh, but really dry. For me, I think I need a little butter on it. It's not bad. It's something I'm sure Taika will like, though. I'm going to save that for her before we go to the baseball game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you sitting around to the end. If you haven't yet, tickle that subscribe button. Be sure to comment, like, and share. Because sharing is caring. And we hope to catch you on the next video. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Be awesome. Ha! This is the building. If you're in Akihabara and you're interested in looking for the used panty vending machines, they're right here. It's right here in front of the station. There's the station. There's the store. Go down the basement. 1,000 yen, you can buy your own little capsule. Have fun. Mystery box. It's gonna be like a necktie. Oh. oh, this is cool. It's like one of those little magnets that go on the back of your phone. Oh, there's more. It doesn't end there, guys. Look at that. That's pretty sweet, huh? Got a watch. And a uh, cell phone little pocket holder. A cell phone finger dealy holder. <laughs> I'd say I made out pretty good.